John Dressel. Mark, if you could just maybe start us off with a simple statement about uh, this upcoming Saturday's races. We'll open it up to questions following that. The NSA Championships is, a, is upon us. Uh, it seems only yesterday that it was August and we were talking about the prospects for the season. There have been ups and downs, but uh, the race is four days away or five days away and we're ready as we can be. Uh, John is with us here today. He's a senior. He's been with us a long time. I hope you'll ask him some questions. He'll have a, a special perspective on what it's like to go through the process here. And uh, we're excited. I think I'm excited. Are you? Yeah. Yeah, we're all very excited. Good. Good. Thanks. Here we go. John, you said you run at Terry Holt once before. What's that course like compared to some of the other national championship courses? Um, yeah, no, like like you and I were talking earlier, like and Mark saying how it's a pretty fair cross country course. Um, I think it's one that favors us. We've done really well there in the past. Um, it's before I came here, so I think going back to Terre Haute and knowing the the history of success that we've had on that course, I think we can use that as motivation for what we want to do this week going into the race. Mark, obviously, uh, NAU is ranked number one right now. They looked really good in the uh, the regionals the other day. Uh, how good is that team, and um, how do you compare with them? The Northern Arizona men are probably the best team in the country. It's hard to judge the strength of teams based upon the regionals because the teams that are already strong tend to hold people out. I think Northern Arizona held a few of their varsity people out last weekend, as did BYU. Uh, we did as well, held out one athlete. So the scores of last weekend aren't very indicative of what might happen uh, next week. NAU has been untouchable all year long. I think they're ahead above most of the rest of the teams. But strange things happen at the NCAA championships, and uh, underdog teams maybe rise up. Uh, heavily favored teams struggle. It's happened to us. So uh, we're still going to race. What are some of those pitfalls teams can fall into at the NCAA championships? Oh, they're in, it's innumerable, really. Uh, they can eat wrong, they can warm up wrong, they can go out too fast, they can go out too slow. Uh, it's different every year. John mentioned that th this race has been at Terre Haute many times. We've done well there sometimes. We've bombed once or twice. It's easy to make a mistake. So uh, we'll have to evaluate the conditions, evaluate our personnel, how ready they are, and make sort of a race day decision what our strategy will be. But again, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. And it's, it's really uh, a race where a lot of teams do relatively poorly because of the pressure, the expectation, the length of the season, and um, difficult conditions that they hadn't anticipated. John, uh, last cross country race uh, at CU for mm -hmm. you. Uh, what are some of the emotions you, you've been kind of feeling this week and the lead up to this race and, and how has it uh, kind of impacted your training this time around uh, going into it for the last time? I don't think it's impacted my training much. I think it's just all less the same every season, every year for cross country. But uh, it is kind of surreal that this will be like my last cross country race in the CU uniform. Um, but it also gives me more motivation to do the best I can for the team uh, on race day. So it, it's just exciting. Um, and I'm very excited for what we've done this season and what we can do this Saturday. Coach, last year the women won and it was snowing. What's the weather forecast this year, and how do you think that could affect the race? Right now, the forecast is wintry, but it doesn't look like there'll be any precipitation laying around. So it'll be 
cold and breezy and maybe some rain coming down or sleet coming down, depending on what weather forecast you see. We like bad conditions, so it won't bother us. For both of you, what is the challenge of running a 10K, two 10Ks in an eight or nine day period? I've never done it, so ask John. <laughs> Um, well, like Mark said, with the regional meet, you've had some teams hold out some guys. Uh, for us, going into that race, it was just to advance and qualify for nationals. So I would say most of our team ran fairly conservative. Um, everyone's feeling really good right now. Our training this week's fairly light. We'll have like our last hard session um, today for the race, but uh, for me, myself, like my legs are feeling really good. So um, I don't think we'll feel any effect from regionals uh, for this Saturday. I was just curious your thoughts on your women's team coming into this race. Uh, you know, not as maybe strong as they were a year ago, but what do you feel like their prospects are this weekend? It's been a roller coaster season for our women with uh, good weeks and disappointing weeks. Some little illnesses along the way, a few people who didn't arrive ready for duty in August. Uh, we had a woman have to stop last week with a lower leg injury. We hope that'll be repaired uh, by this weekend. So Saturday, or last Friday, was a bit of a disappointment, except that we got through. And we're patching things up and hope to be a little stronger and deeper this weekend. I got a good one for you, Coach. When you took this job a quarter century ago, did you envision you'd still be doing it, and what's kept you going? When I took the job 25 years ago, I don't think I looked far into the future. I was too excited about the present. I knew that Boulder and CU were the perfect place to have great middle and long distance runners and great cross-country teams. And I was very into the moment, the uh, honor of being selected, and the exciting potential. Looking back now, am I surprised that I didn't get fired along the way somewhere or that I kept my mouth shut? A little bit, yeah. Three or four ADs have endured me. And uh, I'd like to make it another 25 or 30 years. Any more questions for Coach or John? All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks,